Hello and welcome to my full day of superhuman athlete training. If you're not aware, I'm trying to become as good as possible at all the things that are important to me, which are being insanely good at flips, becoming strong as an ox, and also looking like a Greek goddamn god. So I kicked off today's training with a little grass tricking session and you're going to see a lot of training today. I don't train this much every single day, but I do train pretty much every single day and I do often train twice a day, so I'll do gym and tricking. So that answers the question of how much do you train, which is probably the most frequent question I get. But people usually ask that question because they actually want to figure out how much they should train. And there is an answer to this. You see, there is this thing called minimum effective volume, which is the least amount of work you can do and still see results. And then there's this thing called maximum recoverable volume, which is the most amount of work you can do and still recover from it. And you can be anywhere between those two, but if you're anything like me, you probably want to make a lot of progress and you want to be as close as possible to the max recoverable volume. Especially in a skill-based sport like tricking, more work is always better as long as your body can handle it. So you want to train as much and as hard as you can, as long as your body can handle it. And how do you find that point? Well, you start with something you know your body can handle, then you start adding more and more over time. And then at some point, you're going to stop getting better week to week. You're going to hit a plateau. That's when you know your body can't recover fast enough. And that's when you take a step back. And as you can see here, I also fail a lot. I probably fail more than I land, to be honest. I just don't include the fails all that much. But yeah, failure is a very important part of the process. And this is a sick combo. I wanted to end this with a double cork, but then it got too dark and I couldn't see anything and I didn't really have any power left. So I just fueled up and headed to the next stop, which was the gym. I usually start every gym session with bench press at the moment because I really want to bench free plates and I'm so fucking close. But the bench was taken, so I opted for some weighted pull-ups, which is actually a pretty good warm-up for bench because it doesn't exhaust any of the muscles you need for bench. And I feel like you have a little bit more stability with a back pump. And I was actually wondering how my bench press session was gonna go because I actually benched the day before and I was still a little bit sore. I benched 135 pretty easily and then I was too fatigued for 137.5. So I decided to go for higher reps and try to do a rep PR with 100 kg, which I think my previous best was either 10 or 11. I'm not sure if I got 11. Um, and I really wanted to get 12 because according to the one rep max calculator, 12 reps with 100 kilos equals one rep with 140. Now these aren't always accurate, but they're usually pretty accurate for me. So I really wanted to get this. And then you can see here, I hit the plates on the safeties, um, but I still got the 12th rep. And I do think that I could have gotten 13 if I didn't hit the safeties. So that's pretty fucking good considering I was sore. And I think I'm gonna hit free plates very, very soon. So yeah, after bench press, I did these overhead triceps extensions, which is probably my favorite tricep exercise at the moment. And I superseted that with some bodyweight pull-ups, which I didn't film, but still. And then I did some bicep curls, mainly for the pump, because I wanted to look good for some posing. And I'm taking all of these small accessory movements to failure because these small muscles, they recover pretty quickly and I'm not doing all that much volume. So yeah, we're gonna do some posing for a quick sec and then it's back to me yapping my ass off. After the gym, I refueled again and had a short little air track session and I was able to commit to a triple full without any warm-ups or prerequisites, which was pretty cool. Even though it was slightly under-rotated, I was still happy with that. And then after doing some double flip maintenance, I was actually able to commit to my very first scoot triple full. The scoot felt pretty awkward on the air track and the twist wasn't very good, but I was still very happy that I committed to it. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna land that very soon as well. And I'm actually the heaviest I've ever been and I'm also the strongest in the gym I've ever been. And I'm very surprised how well my tricking is holding up and how much training volume I can handle. Um, and that's probably down to nutrition and recovery. And we're gonna come back to that later as well. But yeah, the session was pretty decent and I finished it off with some lovely swings. And then I headed back home and I did a few minutes of handstands. And I've been doing this recently every time I'm bored. And I've actually been seeing a lot of progress. They've gotten really fun and also uh, quite a lot better. And then it was time for my 
dinner, which is always the same thing. This low-fat yogurt called skier, which I eat with an apple, almonds, some cinnamon and a little bit of honey. And I like to dilute it before because I like the thinner consistency a bit more. So as you can see here, I'm adding a lot of almonds, first of all, because I like almonds. And then second of all, because almonds are made up of mostly fat and fat has nine calories per gram. So it's an easy way to add some more calories to this meal if you're trying to gain weight to bend free plates or whatever. And a lot of people also ask me what kind of supplements I take. And it's mainly these two, vitamin D, very important, especially in the winter. And then also this, which I take mostly for the magnesium. Magnesium actually helps you sleep if you take it before you go to bed, which is great because sleep is obviously very important. I don't take creatine and I don't really use protein powder all that much. Not because they're bad, they're great. I just don't really need to. Yeah, remember guys, eat well, train hard, recover harder. And I'll see you guys not next week, but tomorrow.